Teacher Michelle here. I hope you're all doing good and I hope you all had a really good week um, doing your virtual school or whatever it was you were doing. Um, today we our lesson is going to be out of Genesis um, and it's going to be on Abraham. It's going to be on our friend Abraham and I know that we've been learning a lot about Abraham and just learning that God just um, poured out his love and his favor upon Abraham. So, but today our lesson is called Abraham's Test. And um, 
So I know that, remember, God made a covenant with Abraham. He made that um, heartfelt agreement saying that Abraham will um, be the father of many nations and that he will have children and uh, descendants as numerous as the stars. So I just think that that is just such a beautiful promise. So, and then um, do you remember that um, he gave, do you remember he gave um, Abraham and Sarah um, a miracle baby. He gave them a miracle child with a son named Isaac. So today we are going to learn about how Abraham was just obedient to God's voice and did exactly what God told him to do, even though it was really, really hard. So and let's go ahead. If you get your, if you want to go get your Bibles, go get your Bibles, and we're going to turn it over to um, Genesis 22, and let's start in 22. It says here, now it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham and said, Abraham. And Abraham said, here I am. And he said, now take your son, your only son. Remember the one and only son that was promised to, to Abraham. He said, go take him whom you love and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I tell you. So um, what the Bible says is that Abraham was obedient. Did Abraham tell God no? Did Abraham start crying? Did Abraham get frustrated? No. The Bible says that Abraham was obedient. And Abraham went and did exactly what God told him to do. So it was sort of like a test. How many of you have taken a test in school? And what does a test do? The test kind of shows your teacher or your mom and dad what you're good at, right? Or maybe on some areas where you could use some help. So, but this, God really tested Abraham's obedience. And it really showed Abraham that he loved God because he was willing to take his one and only son, Isaac, up to Moriah. And so that's what it says here. So, um... It says here, Abraham was supposed to go to a place called Moriah. Okay, question number one, where was Isaac supposed to go? Mount Moriah. And what was Abraham supposed to do with Isaac? Was he supposed to just leave him there and then go? Was he supposed to um, make a picnic lunch with him on Moriah? No, the Bible says you will offer him as a burnt sacrifice, a burnt offering. That's really hard, right? Because I'm sure Isaac just had um, already up to this point, had already developed memories with Isaac. And just this was his son. This was his boy. And then it says here, what? Do you understand what that means to offer him? It means that Abraham was supposed to put his son on the altar. So do you see, boys and girls, do you see the altar here? And he was supposed to kill him, right? Because up to, up to that point, they had been doing um, animal, animal offerings, like um, a sheep or maybe, um, you know, maybe a, a calf or a cow. They would do offerings of an, of, or a dove um, of a sacrifice. But this time, God told Abraham to sacrifice his son out of obedience. So then it says here that this was a strange command. Wasn't that strange and kind of scary, huh? What God asked of what God asked of Abraham. But you know what? It says here. Attempt is another word for test. So we know that God was testing Abraham, but Abraham probably didn't know that. So, and then in Genesis 22, 3, it says, what did Abraham do? In Genesis 22, 3, it says, so Abraham rose early in the morning and saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and Isaac, his son, and split the wood for a burnt offering. And then it says here, at that time, he says, you know, when they got to Moriah, they got to the place. Isaac's like, look, the fire, the wood. But dad, where is the offering? Where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, my son, God will provide himself the lamb for a burnt offering. 
So the two of them went together. So basically, God was already seeing Abraham's um, obedience and was already starting to um, bless Abraham's obedience. But Isaac was probably like, okay, where's the animal? There's the wood, there's the fire, there's the altar, but where's the animal, right? Um, and then it says here, what was Abraham's answer to his son? It says, God will provide himself a lamb. Wow. So Abraham was trusting that God would provide the offering. Abraham had great faith, didn't he? He had amazing faith. And they walked up to the mountaintop to the place where he had probably sacrificed. But this time things were different. God was testing Abraham to see if Abraham was going to be obedient and sacrifice his son the way he asked him to. And then Abraham was standing over his son with a knife. Can every kids, can you see that? Can you see that? How Abraham was standing over Isaac with a knife? And look at Isaac just laying there obediently. You know, the Bible didn't say Isaac ran away. The Bible didn't say Isaac grabbed the knife from Abraham's hands or that he was probably scared. Yes, but he was obedient as well, right? And it says here, it says here, Abraham was standing over his son, Isaac, with a knife, ready to obey. But God says, do not lay a hand on the lad. The lad meaning the young man, your son. Whew, just in time, right? Could you imagine the knife being like right here? Just in time. And you know what, boys and girls? God is always right on time. And then he stopped right before the the knife went down and God saw that Abraham feared him and obeyed him and you know what and Abraham showed that God was more important even than his own son but we're not finished yet so in Genesis 22 13 it says here then Abraham lifted his eyes and looked and there he saw a ram caught in a thicket like in a in a in a bush by his horns so abraham went and took the ram out of the thicket and offered it up for a burnt sacrifice instead of his son and abraham called the name of this place the lord will provide the lord will provide and isn't that amazing, boys and girls, how when Abraham was ready to sacrifice his son, the Lord provided. The Lord just wanted to see if he was going to be obedient, right? And the Lord provided something so special in place of Isaac. He provided the ram, right? So I love how God always provides. And, and you know what? It says here in the Bible that the Lord God, our God, provided Jesus Christ to die on the cross for us so that we would not have to die on the cross for our sins because that would be scary, right? That would be really, really scary to die on the cross. But a long time ago, God says, I'm going to give my son, I'm going to sacrifice my son for you and for you and for you and for me, right? For our sins. And that's exactly what Abraham did. Abraham was being obedient to God by giving his one son, Isaac. He was ready, but right at the last moment with the knife, right? What happened? God says, do not lay a hand on him. Do not kill him. And then when he looked over, what did he see? He saw the ram. God provided a sacrifice. So Isaac was probably like, oof. I am so glad that's over, right? And boys and girls, sometimes God will tell us to do things and to give up something that means so much to us. So much to us. You know what? Maybe we're saving up our money for that bike or we're saving up that money to go somewhere special or to buy something extra special. And you have all your money, you have all you need. All you're ready for is for your mommy and your daddy to take you to Target or to 
buy something on Amazon because you've been waiting for that so for so long and you've been saving all of your money, but then all of a sudden, what comes in the mail? What does your Sunday school teacher show you at church? Oh, it's Operation Christmas Child Samaritan's Purse. And do you know what this is? This is the shoe boxes. When you get to make the shoe box and you get to fill it up with all kinds of goodies for children that don't have toys, children around the world. And what if you're sitting in church in Sunday school and Jesus just keeps knocking on your heart and saying, you know, Michelle, you have, you have $50 to get that amazing toy that you've been saving for or that bicycle or that skateboard. But shouldn't you spend $10 of it for a child across the world that doesn't have any toys? And then you're probably thinking, oh, but then that means I'm going to have to save up 10 more dollars and that's going to take me a long time. That's going to, that's going to, someone else is going to buy that bicycle. That's my favorite color. That's my favorite bicycle. But Jesus is knocking on your heart, boys and girls, and telling you to sacrifice that $10 for a child that doesn't have anything. Are you going to make the right decision? Are you going to obey Jesus? Are you going to sacrifice the way, the way Abraham sacrificed his son Isaac? Are you going to say, yes, God, yes, Jesus, I will do it. Boys and girls, when you're obedient and you give, you give something that you love so much or that you've been waiting for, so excited, God will bless you and he'll always provide everything you need. Just like God provided um, for Abraham. God provided that ram stuck in the bushes. Do you remember that? Do you remember? So let's go ahead and we'll go over our Bible verse, okay? It's all of Genesis 22, okay? Genesis 22, 2. Then he said, now take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I tell you. So boys and girls, you know what? It is so important that we be obedient. It is so important that we listen to the voice of the Lord. You know, and we need to make sure that when God tells us to do something, it's because he loves us. When he tells us to give something up, it's because he loves us. It's not because he doesn't want us to have any fun or he doesn't want us to enjoy um, our toys, our bikes, our friends, our games, to do fun things. But there are times sometimes where he will tell us to do other things for other people because he loves them too and he needs us. He needs our hands, our feet, our eyes, our ears. He just needs us to be obedient. So remember boys and girls, remember Abraham, what God asked Abraham to do. When God asks you, you to do something, make sure you say, yes, God, I will obey you. I will be obedient because I know that it's the right thing to do. It's obedience. And the Bible says that he will bless obedience. He doesn't care about anything else. He just cares if, that you say yes when he asks you to do something. Okay, so let's go ahead and pray and ask God to bless our Sunday school lesson and help us to be obedient. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this time and we thank you, Lord, that you um, are going to help us to be obedient. You're going to help us to follow your voice. Lord, whatever it is you ask us to do, you're going to give us the ability to do it and help us to not complain or be sad. We love you and we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, have a wonderful week and remember Jesus loves you and we love you and have a great week. Remember to be obedient and to obey the voice of God. Okay? Bye-bye.